What is up guys, my name is Defton, welcome back to Dark Souls 2, and we're going to be venturing right back into the mist, regaining our souls, and then getting the hell out of there. Only not back the way we came, but the uh, way we're supposed to go, yeah, alright. This area can be a little difficult to navigate, but pretty much how I do it is I sort of hug, hug the edge here, along the right side, ugh, just run, just, just run. Sort of zigzag, maybe. Try and dodge some of the arrows and some of the backstab attempts. Anyway, you'll find the chest along the outskirts. And then just sort of follow this little edge here. And my soul should be just ahead. Where'd the edge go? There's the edge. Alright, so where, where are my souls? My souls were around here! This is where I dropped them. There, oh, there they are. Alright, thank you. I'm not even going to bother fighting all these guys. And then you climb up here. Let's see. Might just lead to a chest. Okay. Yeah. This leads to the chest. Might as well grab it while we're here. Just try not to get backstabbed. And run! Chlorine through ring plus one. Thank you. That is pretty nice ring there. And here we go. Is the, Are we heading up? Are we going up? Yes, we are. I think. Yeah, there we go. And we've escaped the mist. Alright. And just like that, we are free. All right, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, where there we are. Bonfire checkpoints in disguise. <laughs> oh man, it has been ages since, since I've watched uh, PewDiePie. But I can't say I didn't enjoy his Dark Souls 2 series. I watched a lot of people play Dark Souls 2 when uh, the game first came out, and I was playing it. I mean, it was kind of interesting. I'd play through an area, and then I'd watch. Uh, you know, all these YouTubers play until the point where I was at, you know, like, I'd never want to watch ahead. But I'd, uh, you know, watch them play through the area that I had just completed. It was, I don't know, it was a fun adventure. Let's see, magic bolts. Eh, can't go through there. So, let's just, uh, go this way. Because we could go, well, yeah, we can't go in there, so not really much point, I don't think. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll, we'll definitely get to that at some point. Ugh. Ooh, right. We've also got... Ah! Yeah. Curses are no fun. Ugh, we got you to deal with. Where are you? There you are. Yeah. These guys, you don't want to face too many at a time because they can be quite tricky. Huh! They also hit extremely hard, but they only have really like one attack, and that's just that single backhanded axe swing, which is pretty easy to dodge. But don't let them fool you, they hit pretty hard. As shown there. But yeah, facing more than one at a time can be your downfall. So sort of once you step out through here, you'll attract those two. If you sort of play it careful enough and, um, you know, only step out to maybe here, then the one over in there will only come at you and not the one over there. Then you've also got huh, this guy here. It's pretty easy if you just single swing, then back step, swing, back step, swing. Well, probably could have finished him off there, but hey. Yeah. And if you... <laughs> yeah. You can tell it is those things right there. It is those um, pots, jars, something like that that contain the curse. All you gotta do is just roll into them to destroy them. And they won't be able to curse you. They're also the things that are laughing at you, tormenting you as you <laughs> make your way through this area. Now you, I don't know if you'll attack me while I fight this guy. Excuse me, I am sorry. This guy here, who can be a serious pain in the ass, watch out. That right there is what will petrify you. I know that I mentioned that uh, the little smaller versions of these guys are no joke. Well, the big ones are even less of a joke, but luckily there are not many throughout the game. I sort of face them from behind, like hit the hind leg area, so that... Okay! Alright! 
I typically hit them in the back air in the uh, back, but to the side so that I don't get hit with that tail whap. But he goes for uh, forward swipes, and but I'm out of range because I'm behind him. But apparently I was still in range at that point. Holy crap, did that do a lot of damage? <laughs> but at least we get as many attempts as it takes. That item there I could grab, but actually, yeah, I don't, I don't see why not. Whee! Get out of here. There. I'll show you guys how to get in there in a little bit. But for now, we're going to get our souls back. I don't think there's anything down there. Oh, no! Oh, no! And there go our souls. There go our souls. Bye-bye. All gone. <laughs> oh, it was a decent amount, like 20,000 or something, but... Hey. I mean, that's why I always save my um, the souls that you can carry in your inventory as backups in case I lose mine. I'm sure I'll have somewhere near 20k built up in those. In time, I'd, there's no point in even grabbing those again because they're zero. Yeah. Oh, at least you got plenty of human effigies. Let's see here. Like, how many do we have? I'm not going to use them unless I'm in Majula. I got get a decent amount. That's maybe 10k. 15k there. Anyway. Let's see. Alright, so. Come on. I'm gonna move until I hear footsteps besides my own. Come on, where are you? Come on. Come on. Seriously. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there goes the other guy. Alright, guess I might have to face these guys two at a time. At least these two- Oh! I've never seen that move. I'll be- I'm being completely honest. I have never seen that move. Holy crap. And you don't even know how many of these guys I've killed. <laughs> what was that? Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Probably not the best time to heal. Oh, well. We're good. We're good. He did it again! He did it again! I swear, when I first started this playthrough, or throughout the course of this playthrough, there have been zero updates to this game. I don't even know why they would update that guy's attack pattern. But okay. That makes things a little more interesting, I suppose. Let's see, can I? Uh, I can't backstab you. At least not there. Well, I felt like he was going for the combo there. I guess maybe he has a forward slash as well. Even so. All right, we've already opened that chest. Looks we're gonna be facing your ass again. Uh, oh, here goes nothing. Dodge the petrification. Okay, I think I'd rather deal with the tail. If that's how much damage he does with that frontward attack. Because, like, holy crap. Okay. Ah. It's not, not mess with the curse pot. Let's see here. Come on, hit me. Ouchies. Oh, I could probably equip that Chloranthe ring plus one. Ouchies. Yeah, did you see how much stamina that took for me to freaking block? Typically, the, mo the, mo the more powerful attacks will, you know, chunk more stamina off you. And yet, that slayed me. And yet, look how much it requires to block. That's nothing. It'd make you think that it wasn't a very powerful attack, but... Goddamn. Alright, yeah, you're almost done, and then we can friggin' move on with our lives, all of us. Cause it's not just me here, 
Petrified Dragon Bone. Hell yeah, I'll take that. In fact, actually, I think because he dropped that, yeah, actually, this is a one-time fight then. Alright, cool. What do you say? Be wary of enemy. Yeah. I know. Okay. I mean, I guess because there are parts uh, later on in the game where you face that guy as sort of a regular enemy who respawns. I uh, thought that he would respawn, but uh, I guess not. No, that's just an axe ragdoll. <laughs> Anything here? Hurrah for rolling, indeed, friend. Alright, there we go. Pharaoh's Lockstone, Soul of a Brave Warrior. I'll take those. Okay, whoa! Hold on. Where were those pots? Oh, uh, right there. Alright, let's wait for that curse to wear off. And then continue. Oh, I guess we'll be continuing in the next episode. I mean, at least we made some progress. We've regained a few souls and we've taken out friggin' bug eyes. Once and for all, at least in this area, until we come back later or use bonfire ascetic, which I will not be doing. Because I'm going to be going into um, uh, New Game Plus in this playthrough, which I've only done a little bit into when I, I in one of like the eight attempts that I've tried recording this game prior to it working now. <laughs> um, I did start recording a bit of a New Game Plus playthrough and get a little ways in before... Uh, before an episode failing to record and then giving up for a while. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 2. And uh, I hope you'll be joining me next time where we continue our way through this um, Forbidden Forest. I don't remember what it's called. Maybe that's... No, I'm I guess I'm thinking of Jack and Daxter at the Forbidden Jungle. <laughs> but uh, anyway, whatever this place is called, we are going to be further exploring it in the next episodes. I hope you guys... I hope you guys join me then. But until then, I'll be seeing you guys later. I'm out.